by rule to display a custom error message or maintenance space when pool is down and pool is down means all members in a pool are down basically right and let's assume we don't want to use this fallback host option because in fallback host we can like specify any external url maybe if there is a application or website hosted in aws or microsoft cloud so you uh, like we can specify here the url right any url name here in the fallback host and uh, then what would happen if pool is down then client requests will be redirected to this external web server write a code like http response code 302 so 302 is something like found code right it means a five big apple they will return or this url so that like clients would just like send re http request to the external web server so it's one one way like because in a five big ip ltm there are multiple ways of doing the thing like this way or that way i mean like i rule policy and even this like uh, some configuration with the help of profiles, multiple ways. But in this section, I'm going to talk about iRule, how we can use iRule to display or maintenance our custom error message when pool is down, right? So, and you, you understand like since, like we'll be using HTTP based parameter or HTTP based conditions like HTTP request, HTTP respond, means HTTP profile, would be required right http profile so without associating http profile with the virtual so we cannot use any i rule wherein like we'll be using http based conditions like http requests or http or uh, uh, respond because here in like in this i rule also what i'll be doing i'll be using like when the condition would be like http request request right and then what the conditional parameter right and conditional parameter is something like active members active members load balancing server pool server pool is equal to what zero right then do what http respond respond 200 200 means successful okay and then the content content and then we can write down any message here right content and then just apply with the virtual server done in case if you know like how to write down html code so even you can use like html codes also like html head title body and all the rest of you, you understand that right but in case even if you don't know html so simply you can write your custom error message there i'm going to show you so let me jump to this f5 configuration page gui page and here there is one virtual server and you can see like all members of a pool down here right so all members down and intensely i did so so that i can show you like the custom error message all three servers are like down disable and uh, is reflected here in virtual server status 1.201 and let me quickly check like http profile whether http profile is associated with it or not yes there is one http profile here so i can see http profile right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create an i rule so navigate to local traffic i rules i rule list here and uh, you, you can type any i rule so custom error message i rule okay you can write any name here and the condition here is when http request so select from this list right and condition here if what active member so you don't have to remember like the complete syntax here right help is 
provided here. So active members LB load balancer and the server. So do we have the option? Yes, load balance server pool and is what zero. Okay. So pool is zero. Then HTTP respond with where is respond uh, here respond what code HTTP response code 200 that is okay and then the content right here now simply I can type the message right custom error message and even I can also use HTML right HTML like like syntax here okay so I'm going to use just a message like we are sorry but the site you are looking for is what temporarily o r a r i l y temporarily out of service And here is out of service and maybe in the next line I can write something else and uh, if you feel you have released this page please try again right so this is the custom error message you can type any message here no problem and just close and finished done and then go to virtual server virtual server properties resources tab and here select the i rule custom error message and finished and yes it's done and now i'm going to access virtual server with the ip address 201 right 172.168.1.1 and look at the message now right can you save this and if i just increase the font size so that you can okay so the message here is we are sorry but the site you are looking for is for uh, like temporarily out of service whatever message you want to type you can type here and even in case if you know like how to uh, do like html coding so you can use that as well i mean like if Again, I go and, and can we ch check this like whether I rule executed successfully or not. So just select here you I rule and this one custom error message is that and yes total execution twice zero failures right the same and I'm sorry something happened with and GUI page timed out no problem let me log in again good good so far right very easy here too and uh, if you want to do uh, like let's say here in content in fact this one you want to replace with some HTML then yes you can do that as well right you can write down here like if you know like how to write down then you can type your html and then uh, head html and then like uh, your uh, if you want to give like the title title here and then your message body then and type here whatever you want to type right and then you can type here like the message this site is or whatever like you you understand like
So after the content, either you can just type like your HTML codes here or maybe just misses here. Okay. And even if I just show you, so this virtual server has HTTP profile, obviously HTTP profile associated. And if I just show you the HTTP profile, so in this HTTP profile, fallback host option is also configured, right? But still, I rule. I rule is executed. Okay, so this this is like the last resort. In fact, no I rule, then obviously like this fallback host will definitely work there. Means client request will be redirected to this URL with the response code 302, not 200, right? In I rule, what I did response code I used 200. Okay. And this in this is something different like 302 found like HTTP response code like temporarily I mean like the redirected are moved in fact okay so that's the way like how I rule is uh, created or used to display or show custom error messages when a pool and, and, and let me quickly show you what if I just bring one server back maybe this server let me enable this so even if one server is enabled right and now yes so status of pool would definitely be changed now yes and this will change the status of virtual server right so a prerequisite is at least one active member in the pool and now what if i try to access the one virtual server ip 201 and look at this no i rule no fallback host right so if all members are down then only i i rule is executed okay and even if there is no i rule then fallback host option that is configured uh from http profile right